नमस्कार इंडिया मेट्रोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट वेलकम टू यूनिट्स डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग एंड स्टर्डे दी तेलंगाना रिसीव्ड दी एक्सेप्शनली हैवी रेनफॉल इवन दी मुलुगु डिस्ट्रिक्ट रिपोर्टेड दी मैक्सिमम 65 सेंटीमीटर ऑफ रेनफॉल सिमिलरली दी जयशंकर डिस्ट्रिक्ट मैक्सिमम 62 सेंटीमीटर रेनफॉल एंड करीमनगर रिपोर्टेड मैक्सिमम 39 सेंटीमीटर ऑफ रेनफॉल एंड दिस इज द टुडे सैटेलाइट पिक्चर एंड टुडे आल्सो वी कैन सी देयर इज मॉडरेट टू इंटेंस कन्वर्शन ओवर मेनी पार्ट्स ऑफ दी तेलंगाना एंड मॉडरेट टू इंटेंस कन्वर्शन ओवर मेनी पार्ट्स ऑफ दी कर्नाटका महाराष्ट्र एंड adjoining areas of the andhra pradesh and today also uh, mainly the telangana and adjoining area of the vidarbha is very likely to receive ex uh, extremely heavy rainfall at one or two places and over the konkan and ghat area of madhya maharashtra is also very likely to receive extremely heavy rainfall however the south chatisgarh interior parts of the maharashtra and karnataka and rayal seema very likely to receive heavy to very heavy rainfall during next 24 hours and if you look for the uh, weather forecast district level forecast for the telangana then mainly the uh, western parts of the telangana particularly over the nirmal district jagtial nizamabad kamareddy sangareddy medag and vikarabad district which are shown in the red color are very likely to receive extremely heavy rainfall during next 24 hours however the adjoining districts such as the uh, siddipet hyderabad rangareddy and other uh, adjoining districts are very likely to receive heavy to very heavy rainfall during next 24 hours which are given in the orange color on tomorrow 28th of july the uh, the districts of the north uh, western parts of the northwest telangana such as the nirmal jagtial nizamabad kamareddy sangareddy medak and vikarabad etc are very likely to receive very heavy rainfall which are given on the orange color and from 29th of july rainfall activity is very likely to decrease over the entire telangana however light rainfall activity will continue and if we look, look for the vidarbha so today on 27th of july mainly the chandrapur and gad chiroli district very likely to receive extremely heavy rainfall at one or two places however the gondia bandara nagpur varda yavatmal and amravati very likely to receive very heavy rainfall activity during next 24 hours and on tomorrow 28th of july mainly the bandara and gondia are very likely to receive extremely heavy very heavy rainfall which are given in the orange color however the nagpur gadchiroli chandrapur varda amravati akola wasim and uh, district very likely to receive only heavy rainfall activity for today we have given the red color warning for the gadchiroli and chandrapur and we have given the orange color warning for the gondia bandara nagpur varda amravati and yavatmal from 29th of july Uh, rainfall activity is also very likely to decrease over the entire vidarbha however uh, moderate to intense uh, moderate to heavy rainfall activity at one or two places will continue over the nagpur region because of the extremely heavy rainfall over all those districts of the telangana and vidarbha there is a possibility of localized flooding and there is also possibility of water logging mainly in the low lying areas and because of the intense rainfall there is a possibility of occasional reduction in the visibility and there is a also chance of disruption in traffic may, may only over the cities of those regions and similarly because of the extre extremely heavy rainfall activity over telangana and vidarbha there is a possibility of some damage to the vulnerable structures mainly over the mainly such as the kacha roads kacha ghars and etc and because of the extremely heavy rainfall there is a possibility of some damage to the horticulture and standing crops over the agricultural fields because of the water inundation over the regions so we advise you please uh, always check for the traffic congestion in your area before leaving to the your destination and always follow the traffic advisory and always follow any advisory which are issued in this regard by the state governments and always avoid going to the areas that face the water logging problem and always uh, you know avoid staying in the one will be structures and please be updated with the uh, updated with the weather information and if you look for the observed rainfall over the other parts of the country then extremely heavy rainfall was also reported over the west uttar pradesh gujarat region konkan ghat area madhya maharashtra telangana andhra pradesh and south chhattisgarh if today very heavy rainfall was recorded over the west rajasthan west madhya pradesh vidarbha coastal karnataka and telangana and heavy rainfall was reported where the which are shown in the black color symbols and if you look for the today's main chain of chips and optic features so today the low pressure area which is basically a Uh, remnant of the well-marked low-pressure area, which was yesterday, which was over the West Central Bay of Bengal. So today, uh, this uh, well-marked low-pressure area is seen as a low-pressure area mainly over the South Odisha and adjoining Andhra Pradesh area. Monsoon trough is passing through the central parts of the Rajasthan, and then it passes through the Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Odisha, and it goes up to the East Central Bay of Bengal. 
over the uh, a, a fear zone which is also passing through the Maharashtra, Telangana, Chhattisgarh, Odisha and then it goes up to the Bay of Bengal and over the Punjab a circulation lies in the lower tropospheric levels. Because of all those weather systems, if you look for the weather warning for the upcoming uh, next five days, so today mainly if you look for the Bidharva and Telangana and adjoining areas so today the Bidharva and Telangana very likely to receive the extremely heavy rainfall we have given the orange color warning and tomorrow Bidharva Telangana very likely to receive only very heavy rainfall we have given the orange color warning and from 29th of July rainfall activity will decrease over the Bidharva and Telangana and from 30th and 31st only light rain activity light rainfall activity will continue over the region and if you look for the Maharashtra so mainly the Konkan area Ghat area of the Mad Maharashtra very likely to receive extremely heavy rainfall on today and tomorrow these areas likely to receive very heavy rainfall and from 29th of July onwards only isolated heavy rainfall activity will will be experienced over the Konkan, Goa and adjoining hot areas of the Madh Maharashtra and if you look for the South Peninsular India mainly the Karnataka state very likely to receive very heavy rainfall activity on today and heavy rainfall activity on tomorrow from 29th of July rainfall activity will completely decrease from the entire peninsular India so we we have not given any weather warning for the entire peninsular India and adjoining areas of the Maharashtra from 29th of July onwards. Similarly, if you look for the northwest India, mainly the uh, Rajasthan very likely to receive heavy to very heavy rainfall activity during next three days and from 30th of July there will be the reduction in rainfall activity over the entire Rajasthan state and over the Gujarat state also. And if you look for the Madhya Pradesh, the so Madhya Pradesh also very likely to receive isolated heavy rainfall activity, uh, mainly uh, west, uh, west Madhya Pradesh on 27th and 28th of July. However, the East Rajasthan will continue to receive heavy rainfall activity at one or two places during all the five days. Even on tomorrow, isolated very heavy rainfall activity over the East Madhya Pradesh. And if you look for the Chhattisgarh, then the uh, mainly the South Chhattisgarh very likely to receive very heavy rainfall activity on today and tomorrow from 29th of July the rainfall activity will decrease over the Chhattisgarh also but isolated heavy rainfall activity will continue over the Chhattisgarh. Uri, Odisha continue to receive isolated heavy rainfall activity at one or two places during the next five days and if you look for the Punjab then Punjab very likely to receive heavy rainfall activity at one or two places on today and tomorrow. From 29th of July rainfall activity will decrease over the Punjab and Haryana very likely to receive heavy rainfall at one or two places during the next three days and from 30th of July rainfall activity activity will decrease over the Haryana as far as the Uttar Pradesh is concerned mainly the West Uttar Pradesh very likely to receive heavy rainfall activity on today 27th of July 28th of July then again on 31st of July heavy rainfall is likely over the West Uttar Pradesh however the East Uttar Pradesh very likely to receive heavy rainfall activity from 28th of July till 31st of July over the Jambu Kashmir and Himachal Pradesh is likely to receive heavy rainfall activity at one or two places during next three days. However, the Uttarakhand will continue to receive heavy rainfall activity during all the five days. As far as the East India is concerned, then the rainfall activity will increase over the East India, particularly over the West Bengal, Jharkhand and Bihar from 29th of July onwards. And uh, uh, even the isolated heavy rainfall activity over the Jharkhand on 29th, 30th and 31st of July and isolated heavy rainfall will be experienced over the Bihar also on 30th of July and 31st of July. However, the entire Northeast India will continue to receive isolated heavy rainfall activity at one or two places during all the five days. As far as the Delhi NCR is concerned, moderate rainfall activity will, uh, activity will continue over the Delhi NCR region on today, the 27th of July. From 28th of July, only light rainfall activity is possible over the Delhi and adjoining areas uh, for the upcoming for the subsequent four to five days and similarly if you look for the Mumbai city then Mumbai very likely to receive isolated extremely heavy rainfall activity on today 27th of July however on 28th of July only heavy to very heavy rainfall is possible is likely over the Mumbai city on 28th of July and 29th of July rainfall activity will decrease over the Mumbai city for more detailed weather information, you can visit the IMD website, you can follow us on our Facebook page, our Twitter page and our YouTube channel. Thank you.